This video is going to go over a few key points about creating a survey using SurveyMonkey. First of all, you need to sign up for a free account if you don't already have one. But in this case, I do have a free account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Then I'm going to create a survey. So if you'll notice the button up on the upper right hand corner, create a survey. And I'm going to title my survey, Work Life Conflict. We're not going to select a category, we're just going to go straight to the survey. So click Continue. And then there's a lot of features here that you can do, but um, I'm just going to go over a few key things. Um, that I think are important. So in this case, it's nice to put a little introduction here. So what I would do, you've got your survey title there. So edit survey options, edit page information. Here is where um, I think you should write a little introduction to your survey. Give them some instructions, maybe the purpose of your survey and so on. Click save. Now you got that. Okay. So then we want to add a question. And so I'm just going to go over a couple of questions here, the couple of question types that will be helpful for you because uh, in the free uh, uh, trial version of SurveyMonkey, you have a limited number of questions you can use, and that's 10. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to get the most bang for your buck. So we'll start by adding a, uh, a question. So we'll type, um, we'll type ethnicity. And the question type is, we're going to say this is a multiple choice, only one answer. Okay, and so it tells you to do your answer choices each, each on a single line. So I'm going to say international, Asian, black, Hispanic, uh, white, uh, two or more, and other. So there's, there's many more we could put in here, but just for the purpose of this, um, this example, I'm going to put this. Okay, and so in this case, you would save. And so take a look. Now you've got, uh, you've got your little introduction. You've got your ethnicity. Then I'm going to show you how to do one more uh, question type, and this will allow you to really get a lot of uh, bang for your buck. So we're going to add a question, and what this will be is this will be a group of survey items that all have the same scale. For example, it, maybe you want to find out the extent to which people agree with several statements. So I would write the question text here say, saying, please indicate the extent which you agree with the following. Okay, there's your survey item. And then what you need to do is um, do matrix of choices, only one answer per row. And then I'll show you how this works. Select that. Then it uh, opens up some more screens. Now your row choices, these will be your separate survey items, and your column choices will be the scale. So I've already written out these survey items on another page, so I'll show you here. Here's my group of agreement statements. See, I'm just going to select all of these. These are already written out for me. And then I'm going to copy them in here. Okay, and it says to do each one on a separate line. So you can see they go each one on a separate line. Then I'm going to do my um, scale choices right down here. And you'll see what those are here in a second. These are the scale choices. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, and strongly agree. Put those in here. I want you to notice one thing, though, and notice the order in which I put these. Strongly disagree is first, disagree, agree, and strongly agree. And what's the reason this is important is because when somebody takes this survey, and say, for example, somebody dis, strongly disagrees, and they select this option, this uh, response will be given one point. Whereas if somebody selected strongly agree, that response would be given four points. So here you go. This, this response is worth one. This is reverse for worth two, three, and four. So that really makes a difference when you start to do your analysis. And you basically you're asking for the average of all of the people that took your survey 
you want the average uh, of their responses. So the higher the average, the more they will agree with your statement. The lower the average, the less they will agree with your statement. So we'll save this, and this is how it comes out. So you'll notice here that I've got one survey item with my ethnicity, one other survey item, but I've got these six survey items in a sense all grouped into this second survey question. So now I've got eight more options that I can do with this survey. And so this is how you can go through your survey, adding your maybe your demographics like gender and your grouped items. You would do the same thing for uh, satisfaction items. Group all of your satisfaction items into one scale and say, please indicate the extent to which you are satisfied with the following. And you put all your items there in the column and they're all in the rows and you put all of your satisfaction scale uh, from the lowest satisfaction to the highest satisfaction in your column box and that should be about it